The new policies that Alberta Premier Danielle Smith says support children and youth as they grow into adults has triggered some division. The UCP government's policy on sex education and parental rights includes significant changes. Among the changes are minors under the age of 15 will now require parental notification and consent for them to change their pronouns in school. For 16 and 17 year olds, parents won't have to give consent, but the parents must be notified. In her video address, Premier Smith also expressed concern over children biologically altering their own bodies, saying it poses a risk to children's futures that she is not comfortable allowing. For minors age 17 and under, top and bottom gender reassignment surgeries will not be permitted. For children age 15 and under, puberty blockers and hormone therapies for the purpose of gender reassignment or affirmation will also not be permitted, with the exception of those who've already commenced their treatment at this time. Minors age 16 and 17 will be permitted to commence hormone therapies for gender reassignment and affirmation purposes, so long as they are deemed mature enough to make these decisions and have parental physician and psychologist approval. One LGBTQ2 advocate we spoke with saying this is grim for the future of the province. It's a dark day for Albertans in this province who are transgender. This will irrevocably harm youth in this, in this province. Um, I would not be surprised if there are trans youth who are forced to flee as refugees away from Alberta because of this horribly transphobic policy. This is not rooted in medical science. This is not rooted in empirical studies. This is rooted in what Danielle Smith believes. While reaction continues to pour in on social media, political analysts also weighing in. What she's trying to accomplish here is to stand up uh, um, for the rights of LGBTQ2S people, as she has done uh, in her past as well, but then at the same time trying to respect parental rights and, and in the process restrict the choices that some students in school might previously have had. The Premier also said topics around gender identity, sexual orientation or human sexuality for all grades will need ministerial approval to ensure it's age appropriate. The Premier adding she plans to attract physicians and surgeons who specialize in trans gender health care needs. She will be officially presenting these policies in a media conference Thursday afternoon. On social media, NDP opposition leader Rachel Notley told two spirit and trans Albertans there are many Albertans standing with them against hate. Notley says new Democrats will have more to say on Thursday. Ina Sidhu, Global News.